Okay, we're going to do a quick video on running Combo Fix. First of all, Combo Fix is um, a program you don't don't just want to uh, run arbitrarily. Um, you'll notice that if you do any research on it, you're always told that you're running it at your own risk. Uh, one of the first things to do before you run it is uh, disable your antivirus because a lot of antivirus uh, will. Uh, not like combo fix because of the nature of the program and of course we know this program is used to remove root kits and uh, other viruses that uh, most other programs are having problems running so basically you're gonna download combo fix from a reputable site save it I save it with a different name to the desktop click run and if it's the first time you run it you'll see a couple of different windows come up um, you need to click yes on those windows basically. The uh, program will also do a, uh, a quick backup of the registry before it runs and uh, it may be prompt it may also prompt you for a uh, update or prompt you to install the recovery console I usually do and this here is a one I downloaded the other day and it's telling me there's a new version so I'm going to go ahead and update it And now it's going to restart. Now, when you run Combo Fix, sometimes you'll get uh, a couple different messages, and some of those messages could actually be generated from the virus that's on the computer to try to get you to shut down Combo Fix. So, if I get any pop ups that have to do with errors, I tend to just let them sit for a little bit and watch the progress and see if the progress still continues. Here's that pop up I was talking about disclaimer of software warranty. You'll click yes on that. <coughs> Excuse me. and here it says it's preparing to run did a quick backup there of the uh, created a recovery point restore point sorry and basically here it's just telling you how it might take 10 minutes or longer to run and here we see it's completing stages of the scan if this will go up to stage 50 if you did have a rootkit virus on the uh, computer, it would pop up with a message stating that Combo Fix has detected the presence of a rootkit and needs to restart, in which case you'd go ahead and allow it to restart, follow the directions on screen basically. When the computer restarts, uh, Combo Fix will uh, automatically start up again. And then uh, when the scanning is done, sometimes it'll prompt you to restart the computer. And basically you're just going to wait or click yes you don't you don't have to manually restart the computer and then again when the computer restarts uh, combo fix will run again and finish up when it's all done it creates a log file the log file will have a, a record of everything that it found and I'm going to pause this just for a few seconds and we're almost up up to uh, stage 50 here And there's stage 50. It's going to take a, a little while still. It takes a while for the uh, program to even create the uh, log file, so just be patient with it. And here it's preparing the log report. Please do not run any programs until Combo Fix has finished. And here it's telling you the location of the log file, their log report. It'll be in the C drive named combofix.txt. And here it is. Basically, this is uh, hasn't found anything to delete. Um, if you did have uh, suspect files, they'd be listed in a section that says deleted. And that's about it. That's all there is to running Combo Fix. Of course, it would take a lot longer if you had some major infections on your computer. And uh, you just kind of have to be patient with the program, let it run. And again, it, again, it's not a program you just want to run every time you have a problem. It's just for serious issues. That's it for today.